Hello, it's Stacy from Stacy's Bookcase. Welcome to my channel. This is a review for Dementia 21. This is a manga by Shintaro Kago, and it is about a home help aide who assists various elderly clients while she's trying to get a good score uh, for her company, for herself within the company. She has a little device that she gives to the client and they indicate whether or not she's done very well, if they're very satisfied, somewhat satisfied or not satisfied at all with her services. This collection is the funniest thing I've read in so long. There were so many times I just burst out laughing while I was reading it. So this is a collection of stories uh, and they all inv involve the same home help aide, Yuki Sakai, and each one is different and absolutely absurd and ridiculous. They don't really follow a linear story. They're each really their own thing and sort of exploring a different concept. There isn't really any like character development or anything like that. That's definitely not what this book is about. It's more about exploring ideas that have been exaggerated, um, but still sort of hit home in, in a way. Uh, for example, there's one in here that is this automated home help like room. It's like a storage container and it's set up for an elderly person to live there without having to be helped by anyone from the outside. There's automatic toilet, automatic uh, like liquid food, there's a shower. It, it's everything is automated in this little storage container and uh, there's this place where all the storage containers are stacked on top of each other. So it's just towers of old people living in these automated storage containers, basically. And then uh, Yuki has to go and she's trying to find one of them for a family member. And it's just what could happen if you were to put a bunch of old people in towers of storage containers, you know? What would happen? What could happen? And I found that story to be absolutely hilarious. All the stories are sort of like that and I feel like they got even more absurd the farther along you get in. So that's really all of the stories in this. They're all ridiculous and absolutely hilarious. And there is a second volume. I'm not sure if I would buy it. Uh, I did really enjoy it, but I don't know if it's something where I want to spend money on the second volume, especially right now when I'm trying to limit my spending on books, mostly because I want to limit the number of books I own. So I'm really evaluating what is worth buying and what I don't need to buy. I could just either rent from the library or maybe get an digital copy of it if I really want to read it. But I definitely recommend picking this up. It was very, very funny. It was a great break from just everything else. It's so not serious. I mean, you could take it seriously. You could see it as a commentary on society and all that jazz if you really want to, but I don't think you really have to. I think you can just enjoy it for what it is. Let me know if you're planning on picking this up or if you've read it before and you liked it or if you didn't like it, let me know. Uh, are there any other mangas that you know of that are similar to this in this same kind of style, this ridiculous, absurd storytelling style? I wouldn't mind looking into them more. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.